Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So what we're doing today is we are looking at movies. Oh, the movies that Snowman loves. All this information was collated from different magazine sources that have put them out in Japan. So English speaking people, and I'm sure the Japanese speaking people will also appreciate this. Their movies kind of suit their personality. Anyway, let's dive into it. Okay, so the first one on the list, we are looking at Fukusan. Fukusan's favorite movies are Marvel films, especially Avengers. He's also really into The Hunger Games. He's also really into Ryoni Kenshin. Now, I love myself a good Marvel film. Obviously, I think it kind of makes sense because he's into all the Marvel films and Hunger Games and Ryoni Kenshin anyway. I love Ryoni Kenshin. The actual films they made off those is absolutely fantastic. I've not actually watched all the anime. I know, I know. But the films they made are really, really good. I really enjoyed it. But it kind of makes sense because he does like to play video games for Kasan. So those movies and those TV shows kind of sort of go into that personality of his. I actually highly rate for Kasan's movies. Okay, moving on to Hikaru. Hikaru's movies, just like his personality, it is pretty much identical. So the first one of his movies, and he actually really wants to be in this franchise, is the Fast and Furious movies. Now, Fast and Furious, I understand. Remember, if you remember, our strong Hikaru, oh yeah. But what is the other side of Hikaru? He's soft. He loves Notebook. Yes, he likes Notebook. A very, very, very soppy film. So <laughs> I can't imagine him sitting there watching Notebook. Like, it just doesn't seem right in my head. But hey, he absolutely loves it. So there we go. He actually also usually likes to watch films that he is personally in, in the cinema. I don't know about you, but I would find that a bit strange. Like if I went to the cinema and saw myself in there, I'd be so worried about people going, oh, it's you, you're in that film. <laughs> Okay, so Shoppy, he doesn't actually watch films at the cinema. It makes him sleepy. Honestly, I understand this. My wife's the exact same. If you take her to the cinema, she'll fall asleep straight away. That's it, end of. Because as soon as the lights go off, it gets really cozy, doesn't it? So yeah, he doesn't actually, go, Shoppy doesn't watch films in the cinema. It makes him sleepy. And he can't stay awake through the whole film. But he does actually like a film, which is Social Networking, the one with Jesse Eisenberg in it. And he actually likes that film because apparently it helps him understand how you take actions from the thoughts, how to be assertive with your ideas and that film does do it because it shows that creator of Facebook Mark Zuckerberg he had an idea he had an idea and he pushed it forward and pushed it forward so yeah very very interesting choice by Shoppy wouldn't have been what a film I would have imagined him enjoying but it is a decent film and the next one is Meme and Memes. This one was also a shocker to me because I thought he would like romantic films, but apparently he doesn't really like romantic films all that much. But I can tell you one thing he does like, that is Anne Hathaway. Two of the movies that he has a big interest in stars Anne Hathaway. And one of those is The Intern, and it also stars Robert De Niro absolute classical brilliant actor and the other Anne Hathaway movie he's a big fan of I, I love this movie as well so I could totally relate to him it also stars Meryl Streep is The Devil Wears Prada it is a fantastic movie isn't it and the third one he likes is one that I actually really adore and of course I love it because why because the main actor's British it's Mr Bean and what I'm talking about Mr Bean is Johnny English and that is Johnny English Strikes Again which is the sequel to Johnny English Sir! Yes, all right, Buff, we're going on a mission, not a honeymoon. Yes, of course. Ah, um... I like them all, so I'm happy either way. I was told that Mr. Bean is something that certain people in Japan study in school to learn English, but that made no sense to me because he doesn't speak. Well, not in Mr. Bean, he does in Johnny English, so who knows? And the final one for this one is Sakun. One of his favorite movies that was recommend uh, was actually put in there was because he was recommended it by Meme, and that is Johnny English again, because Meme recommended it, he liked it. And of course, Sakun is gonna choose some Japanese anime isn't he the number one is the prince of tennis i've never watched prince of tennis it is from the magazine weekly shonen jump which a lot of the awesome animes are from that so you know it's gonna be fantastic i've not actually watched it and probably gonna give it a watch after this because if Sakun likes it surely enough i'd like it and another one that he's watched which i haven't watched is evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 Price Upon a Time. That is a mouthful of a name of a anime. And no, I have not seen it, but apparently he cries at the end all the time. But I need to watch this. Apparently it is absolutely fantastic. Out of the five that I've listed, who would you pick? Who would you spend a day with to watch the movies with? Whose movies interest you the most that you would love to sit there, watch films with them? In this list, I would probably spend the day watching movies with Fukusan because his movies, they're right on my street. I mean, Marvel's 
great. Hunger Games, great film. Rioni Kenshin, absolutely love. I mean, his films suit me down to the T. But which ones would you watch? Who would you go to the cinema with? Who would you sit? Well, not Shoppy because he'll just fall asleep. But <laughs> you watch these movies with. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe for next week because we next week we got Koji, Raul, Date Summer, and Ave. Anyway, I'll catch you soon. Bye.